Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Terra Cards Madness. It is great to be here and I hope you're doing well today, folks. So what is the plan for today? Well, obviously I have another run for ya. And this run will be kind of served to scratch a certain itch to unlock another achievement. That's right, it's, it's been a while, right? So we're going to unlock another achievement here. And the target achievement we're going to get is Architects of Utopia level 3. That's right, folks. Level 3. So that means we need to have 500 sheep on the farm. And you're probably already thinking, well, wow, that is going to be a 3 hour long video. Well, no, it not so fast here, folks. The reason it's not going to be a three, I mean, if you started it from ground up, it would be a three hour long video for sure. But the reason it won't be is because we've already got a pretty decent file in place. And I did another video, I don't know, probably three, four tarot cards videos ago, where we got the level two achievement. Well, we are going to continue on that farm here. And it is, of course, the Supremacy run, right? So we're just going to load this up and we're going to continue on. I mean, my thought is I might as well. We put in the effort, right? We got this far. We did the build, we put together a successful and good build, why not see it through into resolution? And of course the resolution is Architects of Utopia level 3. And I do feel like the performance issues have gotten a bit better on the game since the 1.3.3 update, right? So we're in a good position here and we might as well keep playing on it. So let's just review quickly kind of where we left off. And I will actually link the uh, the video that I'm referencing in the description of this particular video. If you want to check out kind of how we got here. But this is the build. And on day, what, 237, 238. You know, we did achieve 250 sheep. So this farm does have 250 sheep. It's got a bunch of pastors, a bunch of barns. We got some giant sheep kind of in the mix here. So we can continue to kind of buff these guys up. And really what you're uh, realizing here is this massive energy production, which is driven by the blue sheep and the pastors, right? So they are symbiotic. They buff each other up. And we get a really strong build out of it. Obviously, a lot of energy production. If you just take a peek at one of these blue sheep here, 68,000 energy. Pretty insane. And then it all kind of filters into the power of our giant sunflowers which are mighty, 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 making over a million, almost two million per giant sunflower in sunflower seeds, which then gets, you know, processed into the lucrative vegetable oil, right? So that is our power product here today, folks, and it is making a lot, a lot of money. So we have a really good foundation in place, which kind of lends more to my thought of, well, why, why wouldn't we just pick this up again, right? I mean, why not? So we're going to keep on. Obviously, I mean, 250 sheep is going to take a while to get, folks. It simply will. We're at 250 right now. We got a bunch of sheep in our hands, so it's all about drawing fences. But let's continue to develop our giant sheep build here. Let's continue to grab blue wheat and electrify all of our sheep where possible. And let's see if we can weave in some other fun things as well. So that is kind of the goal here today. A little bit different. You know, generally we take our runs from the very beginning. That's a little bit different, but, you know, still, I do hope that you enjoy. And if you do find yourself enjoying this, uh, this content here, if you do find yourself enjoying the Tarot Cards content here on the channel, folks, then please do consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. I am a new channel here, and if you're digging the production quality, if you're digging the vibe, if you are digging the videos, then please consider helping a guy out by just hitting that subscribe button. Would really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. And let's get started here. So centrifuge, I mean, that's not really necessary at this point. We do have the loom here. So you could make a case for the loom right here. However, I really want to just electrify my sheep, right? So $384 million on the reroll. My goodness. All right, let's just take the loom. I'm good with that. And onward with our essence rewards. Uh, veganism, cow deluge, and fuel grapes. I suppose we could go fuel grapes. Even though we're not really using it at all. I think we're going to find that uh, there's going to be a lot of just skip turns. I mean, we've actually done a pretty darn good job of making sure that we play our hand, right? So if you look, our, our hand is barren, right? So that has benefits, obviously, in, in that we will get the cards that we're seeking, right? So let's just continue to uh, progress, and obviously what we need is the medium fence and we need a lot of it right so i can pretty much safely end my turn a mill lake do we need a lake i mean not really 
Let's re-roll this. Another giant sheep. Yeah, well, we'll take another giant sheep. Even though we don't really have room for them yet. So this is interesting. You know, like I was kind of alluding to, oftentimes we take it from day one and onward. You know, previous builds of the game didn't really allow, if I'm being completely honest, didn't really allow for, you know, runs past the day 200. It just didn't, right? It just wasn't working out with the performance issues of the game. But now we're in a better spot with it. So let's throw down the alpha wolf right here. It will turn into a pastor. At least it should. No, never mind. It's going to remain the slave wolf. Interesting. All right, so we're getting our luxury cloth production back. Very nice. Making $202 million per turn. You just love to see it, folks. A field corn, medium fences. Yeah, so the medium fence is the card that we're simply just taking every single time by default. Not a question in my mind about it. Let's pay the $36 million. Absolutely. And yeah, it will certainly be interesting to see, you know, this build seems very strong right now. We are a billionaire, but, you know, the rent certainly does uh, scale upward pretty quickly. And I'm going to call this one a win if we can get Architects of Utopia unlocked, of course. So let's do our best to meet the goal at hand. Getting the sheep cards in our hand is definitely not going to be the problem. It's essentially a matter of, can we get enough medium fences down before the rent gets too excessive? We're going to find out here. So I think it's it's safe and proper to simply just fast forward to the draw phase, right? It, it really is. So let's go with the cutter here. We can actually get one on this island here that we just played. Do we need another cutter anywhere else? And do note the, the, the performance, right? Yeah, the draw phase is a little sticky, but... I mean, overall, it is so much better, especially if you compare this to, you know, the previous video that I did, right? So, kudos to the development team. Actually, let's get a cutter right here. Didn't notice that spot. But kudos to the development team. What you are doing, my friends, is working, for sure. So, we get two more medium fences there. Just lovely stuff. So, let's take advantage of it. Let's build out this little grouping here we are getting 10 sheep per fence so we have effectively added another 40 sheep after this is all filled up and i'm gonna keep my eye out for blue wheat and we're getting like are we getting like 20 plus sheep cards per turn um yes we are we're getting 24 or 25 sheep cards per turn my goodness lovely stuff and you love to see it Do let me know. L let me know in the comment section if you are okay with this kind of format, right? Where we're kind of picking up a build that, that we already did. I mean, generally, I love starting from scratch, right? Small fences, absolutely. I love starting from, from uh, scratch. It adds kind of a new challenge. It adds a new element to it, right? You get a nice, fresh slate, and then you, the fine viewer of the channel, can kind of see how it all comes together and the choices that go into it, right? Well, in this format here, I mean... It's not like we're just picking up a file without a purpose. We are driven and dedicated and focused on getting Architects of Utopia level 3. So I do want to definitely you know, document that on the channel. I mean, it's think of it as a uh, two-part video series, if you will. But do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. At the end of the day, it is some more Tarot Cards content for you. And also, folks, if you think I'm doing a good job here with the videos, please consider giving the video a thumbs up as well. It would really help me out. And ultimately, I just appreciate everybody in this community so much. So thank you, thank you. Here's some more small fences. The game is not being stingy with the fencing. So this is good stuff. So do we start another little sheep zone here? I mean, the small fences are a great little centerpiece. Suppose we could, so we could build this out here. Obviously, wheat goes here, right? So wheat, wheat, wheat. You get a silo, silo. I think we could go with... So silo, silo. So that would be more wheat here. Could get another... Uh, 
giant sheep domain, I suppose. I mean, we don't even really need to mess with the giant sheep, if I'm being honest with you. If we get wheat, we'll continue to build that out, but I don't really need to play my giant sheep. It's not imperative that I do so. It's more imperative that we get our basic sheep played, right? Because that is how we will ultimately meet our goal. So let's make sure we do that. Gotta stay focused here, folks. Gotta stay focused. I mean, I'll take small fences, right? Absolutely. Alright, so... I think it's safe to say we played somewhere in the realm of 80 sheep, maybe? Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. 80 feels about right. Another giant sunflower. I mean, that is a very powerful, powerful card, especially with this build here, but I've got to go with the medium fence. I simply just have to. And one thing to note here, folks, so there is a thunderstorm occurring right outside my window right now, so... I do apologize if you hear a little bit of, uh, <laughs> you know, thunder, right? That whole uh, Mother Nature thing is an impossible thing to control, of course, and I wanted to get some content recorded here tonight. I wasn't going to let a storm hold me back, so if you hear some ambient thunder, I mean, maybe you like that thing. I know I, I certainly do, right? Love the sound of the rain, love the sound of the thunder. But if you're hearing a little bit of noise pollution due to that, I do apologize. I hope it doesn't uh, affect the quality, the audio quality of the video too much. I don't think it should. Alright, so we are just playing so many sheep here. The game has been generous with the medium fence. Well, just fencing in general. Just good stuff. More medium fence. I mean, absolutely. It's like the game is reading my mind or something. So let's go right here with it. Let's go right here with it as well. And at this rate, this actually might end up being a bit of a shorter video than what we're typically used to releasing here. It's just all in the luck of the draw, I suppose. The TC gods smile upon us today here, folks. So yeah, 1.13. It definitely seems like it's performing better. We were having a heck of a time at the draw phase here. To the point where I had to sort of... Just kind of get to the point where we got Architects of Utopia unlocked. And just call it a video there, right? I think I skipped through like 30, 35 turns. And just kept my build going, right? Well, seems to be performing much better. But please do let me know your comments. You know, uh, for you fine viewers that have seen Terra Cards videos on the channel here today, or in the past, or maybe you just found the channel, whatever your situation is, if you have seen some Terra Cards videos here on the channel, then I'm pretty sure you're probably aware of some of the performance issues that we've kind of documented throughout time, right? And I think whatever is, whatever changes have been made to address performance, you know, I must admit, I'm thinking that the changes were definitely in the right direction. We're effectively getting like 25 to 30 sheep cards per turn. That's a lot of, you know, processing going on. And it's working good. Working good. Six sheep, no, we do not need more sheep. We've got plenty of those. Cocoa tree, mill, crow, crap collector, electric carrot. Let's roll again. We get one medium fence. Water tank as well. Let's go with the medium fence. Obviously, it's just the no-brainer selection. And why not? Let's just keep going. Maybe you uh, look at some of the achievements, right? And you're like, oh, Architects of Utopia. Yikes. That is a tough one to get. Maybe you feel a little bit daunted by that. Well, allow this video to kind of serve as... An example of how it can be done. Blue sheep, giant sunflower is certainly the way to go. Water retreat. Do we need it? We have our boreal bounty sitting over here. Yeah, we can go with the water retreat. Who am I to turn down one of my favorite cards, right? 123 million coming out of the bank. And let's go ahead and grab peanut fest. 
That's quite all right. And then I know a spot for some watery trees. If we ever see wheat again, it has been elusive, I must admit. All right, perfect. You see the voracious appetite of the giant sheep here. Just a warrior. All right, so more small fen- I mean, yeah. We'll certainly take them. Absolutely. We'll be taking the small fence. It's not the most optimized, but it doesn't have to be. We're just playing sheep here, folks. And it just wouldn't feel right to get such a big achievement, right? A level 3 achievement. It just wouldn't feel right doing that off camera. Hence the reason for the video here today. Giant Carrot Wolf, Alpha Wolf. I mean, there was a time when we were kind of all in on the wolves. The wolves. The wolves, I should say. Just like the Timberwolves. Any uh, NBA fans out there? So this isn't uh, private knowledge, but uh, I do live in the state of Minnesota, and my basketball team is in the Western Conference Finals. No hard feelings to Phoenix fans or Denver fans, right? No hard feelings at all. But uh, yeah, so my, my team is the Timberwolves, and they're doing really good. It's been a really exciting time to be a fan, that's for sure. We've had a pretty bad team for a long while, and it's just good to have a have a winner here in Minnesota for once. We're not really too blessed with winning franchises. Uh, sunflower, sugarcane, cocoa tree. A small fence times four, you bet. Just what the doctor ordered here, folks. We're getting the things that we need. So how about some blue wheat? That would be the next request. Just a little side request. But I would like to see how much energy I can possibly generate. And then what the giant sunflowers look like, right? We haven't really added energy in a while. The blue wheat will certainly get us there. Getting a lot of wool, obviously. But what we really need is... Let's get some blue wheat. Let's change these sheep to their... Their blue alter ego. Let's see. All right, so $11 billion here. A Biogeny cutter in sheep. Biogeny. Do we need it? I mean, no. Let's re-roll it. More medium fences, you bet. Yeah, so this is falling into place nicely. I must admit, I was a little like concerned. I was like, man, what if we just don't get any medium fences? You know, which is a, a real possibility, frankly. But we are getting the things that we need here. Be nice to get a nice 22 sack of blue wheat, though. So I can play that in all the spaces it needs to be played, right? And we can get, you know, the blue... Uh, the blue sheep farm of the sunflower or something. All right, small fences, yes. But yeah, can you imagine how long a video, especially with the way it used to be? You know, the draw phase taking taking time and, and all that stuff, but can you imagine how long of a video it, it would be to get 500 sheep in one video, right? So that's why I felt it necessary to do it in two. The intention was always to get it, you know, level three. And like I kind of already alluded to, it just felt wrong to do it off video, right? We're in this together, right? We're playing tarot cards together here, folks. And as a member of the community, you know, do let me know your feedback. Elite cow, sure thing. Let's get it. I think at this point, we can probably retire the notion of blue wheat, but I think we can continue to build in the fashion that we just might get it. Whoops, I played the giant sheep. I suppose that was destined to happen. All right, let's continue playing here. Got two more medium fences to play. I don't think I've ever seen the game be so generous with the medium fence. It's like the algorithm or the logic behind the game. Because it's not completely random. I'll tell you that. It's definitely not completely random. 
as in what cards you get, right? What cards you draw. There we go. Architects of Utopia 3 here, folks. And the game just pumped us up. Just pumped it up. And we got that done in 20 minutes. My goodness. I was expecting another 45 dumped into this farm for sure. Either that or just falling short altogether. But no, we got it. We got it done. And we're looking good now. So what's next? Well, should we see if we can get some blue wheat maybe? Let's just play around for a little bit. I don't necessarily need to continue to play sheep. I do like the prospect of maybe trying to secure some blue wheat and getting our energy even more nuclear than it is right now. So let's just play a few more hands here. A $1 billion reroll. My goodness. Let's go with the wolf. Let's see if we can plug in some wolves around here. Some timber wolves. I mean, it's funny because the original intent... I don't know how I have capacity here. But the original intent of this video was to mess around with the luxury cloth, right? My goodness. That is just such massive, crazy production. It makes me want to hang around and get some blue wheat. Yeah, we're going to hang around and get some blue wheat for sure. I want to see how high we can get this energy. Electric carrot, I mean, that does increase energy. Here's wheat. So let's go with our giant sheep. Which obviously helps the bottom line a bit, right? Alright, um... So let's get the wheat in our hands here. And let's play it right here. It's going to be a really strong position for the wheat, of course, with the double water tank and watery tree with arboreal bounty. So that's real mighty. And we can kind of continue on in this fashion. Maybe it bodes well that we got some wheat there. Here's some blue wheat, folks. All right, so this is what we've been waiting for. This is absolutely what we've been waiting for. So let's make sure we play units of wheat in the correct spots here. So this is obviously a really good spot with all the pastors in the area. So you see our wheat, our blue wheat there, our blue sheep now in, in play, right? And 9 million, well, 9.8 million energy per turn now. So let's go right here and see see the impact. 13 million energy per turn here, folks. And here, 15 million, almost 16. 16.5 million energy per turn. 17.198 million energy per turn. So you can see the effect that the pastor has, right? There's no pastors over here, but there's pastors kind of riddled all up in the interior here. And it's really driving the insane production that, that you're seeing. So 18 million energy per turn. And I don't even want to dream of the kind of income that we're making now. So let's take a peek at our giant sunflower here. I'll try to get it zoomed in a little bit more. Wow. Look at that production there. 3.76 million sunflower seeds per turn from each sunflower times four. And that equates to just a gaudy amount of vegetable oil at, what do we have? So we have a million, so $406 million per turn in vegetable oil. And 68 luxury cloth, right? Throw the luxury cloth in there. Why not? All right, tremendous. You love to see it. Maybe we can get, let's see what happens when we get all of our uh, sheep electrified here. Do we have weed expansion? Is that... Yeah, we do have weed expansion. Leave it to me to not remember the essence rewards that I have at my disposal here. So let's go right there. Let's go right here. You bet. Now we're at 20. Grab some more wolves. You bet. Yeah, so the blue sheep... My guess is the blue sheep takes less fence capacity than the normal sheep. So when your sheep convert, you actually gain fence space. We actually might be able to 
come up with some kind of luxury cloth bill. I mean, it's obviously not going to really impact the bottom line at all. If you think about it, but... It's a fun little thing to play around with, right? Alright, so let's head up here and let's check out our... Zones for the wheat. And let's play a few here as well. Giant sheep uh, should be happy with that. Alright, veganism. Black water scares me. It just does. I, I just don't trust it. I've had bad results with it. We'll just put it that way. So let's play the wheat. Absolutely. And let's, let's assess here quick. So wool fabric. Making a cool and calm 208. We have just the regular wool making 2.7 million. We have the shredded wool doing nothing. Vegetable oil. So that's a billion now. Yeah, 1.08 billion. Luxury cloth, 66,000. I mean, I really do think that there is a play here. Electric wool selling nicely too at 2.1 mil. But I really do think that, that there is a play here with the luxury cloth. It's not really a hard thing to get. Right? It just isn't. So, there is certainly a play with it. Be interested to maybe explore that just a little further. A watery tree. Yeah, we can take the watery tree. Who am I to turn down the watery tree? I suppose we can just continue to play some wheat right here. That island does fill up. Well, that's all right. Keep playing some more watery trees. That's right. All right, so what do we have? We have another giant sunflower. Absolutely. You just take that and you run with it. Doesn't matter where you're at or what you're doing. Just take it and run with it. So the drawing phase certainly is... Uh, it feels like it's slowing up just a little bit. But we do have a lot going on here, folks. Alright, Crusher, King Crab, Water Cow. So, we do need the Crusher. We do need the Crusher if we're going to set up a new little uh, giant... Well, not little. A giant new Sunflower Zone here. So, absolutely. Welcome, you are born giant sunflower. 10 to million production. My goodness, man. Just, it's so strong. It's crazy. It's really crazy. It really is. Uh, centrifuge, yeah, we need that. Although the five sack of wolves is uh, pretty hard to turn down. But we do need the centrifuge. Day 332 here, 333. Melter, absolutely. The game is just reading my mind here. It's kind of crazy how... I mean, my perception of late, late game was that good luck getting what you need, right? Like, whatever determinations have been made... Giant Sunflower, it's just reading my mind, I swear. But whatever determinations have been made, right? They are kind of set in stone, and good luck getting what you need... Good luck getting that fermenter that you've been seeking since day 20, right? Good luck. You're not going to get it. Well, the game has just been hooking us up. There's no other way to say it. This particular run, we have just been hooked up. Looks like we have Blackwater twice here. That's interesting. I'm definitely going to skip through that. I don't know if that's a bug or what. Maybe something for the development team to take a look at. We might be getting to the end of the road as far as essence rewards go, is my guess. Why don't we just keep, let's keep filling these out. Obviously, as our sheep go, the way of the blue gives us more space. So, let's fill it up. Certainly have the, uh, the excess cards of sheep to play. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's keep going, and yeah, a mirror image of last turn will occur this turn. We're going to keep playing our sheep. 
It's pretty basic here, folks. Play the sheep, smile, gain energy, pump up your giant sunflower. Maybe somewhere in there, pump up the jam. You know, if, if you recall that song from the 80s, right? Pump up the jam. Pump up the jam is certainly a banger. Shout out to you if you know uh, Pump Up the Jam. Let me know. Do you like that song? I listen to it when I work out sometimes. It's just got that. It's just got that vibe. But we're pumping up the jam here, folks. Like, that's what we're doing. Electric carrots. Uh, gnome. Gnome's not really going to do too much. We can afford a $2 billion reroll. Which is kind of crazy. Let's do it. Mixer, king crab, fuel cow. 3.6 bill now. Carrot, fuel infuser, penguin. Uh, all right, it's getting expensive, but we do get a giant sunflower, so we're basically primed to just make that money back, right? The giant sunflower just pays for itself there. So where's Architects of Utopia level 5? Because <laughs> I feel like we have about 8 million sheep on this farm now. I mean, we're definitely uh, pushing 700. I don't think that's unrealistic at all. At the 31 minute mark here, folks, how many sheep do you think we have on the farm? Let me know in the comment section. Do let me know. We're just having fun, right? So I'm going to will in another giant sunflower into existence here, but let's take a quick peek. So we're making $2 billion per turn. Yeah, $2.09 billion per turn in vegetable oil. All right. So let's see what that morphs into after our third giant sunflower or seventh giant sunflower produces. I feel like we need more corn. Give me a big thunderclap here. Saw a lightning bolt. And we're talking a real life uh, lightning bolt there, folks. Eh, maybe not. Okay, yep, that was a loud one. Again, if you are just joining or just tuning in, or maybe you skip forward in the video, there is a, an active thunderstorm going on right now as I'm recording this. I didn't want that, uh, you know, Mother Nature to stop me from giving you fine folks some tarot cards content, so we're going to push through, but, you know, you can expect maybe some thunderstorm-ish sounds here on the video today. I do apologize. Certainly don't mean to make that become a disruption. But I personally like the, the sound of storms, but ideally not when you're trying to record audio, right? Yeah, man, this, this build is just getting nutty. I mean, it already was nutty. All right, so that is a big thunder boom right there. Been kind of tracking the storm all day. The radar kind of showed a, a pretty severe storm coming my way, so... Yeah, I've been tracking it all day, and, you know, here it is, right? Right after work, right in a little soft spot in time when we can get some content recorded, right? Well, that's when the storm shows up. These things just work in mysterious ways. Kind of like in the way that tarot cards just hooks you up with exactly what you need sometimes. The game's like, oh, Architects of Utopia? Yeah, I gotcha. Here you go. Here's like 18 million medium fences. The game's like, oh, giant sunflower? Yeah, you want to set up a new zone? Yeah, sure. You bet. Well, here's a crusher. Here's a centrifuge. Here's a melter. And here's some more giant sunflowers. Just good stuff here, folks. Good stuff all around. All right, uh, what else do we have? Do we have any more capacity for sheep? Namely, I do want the blue sheep. It doesn't look like it. So we could use more blue wheat for sure. But we're up to almost 30 million energy production per turn. Rocket at day 348. Might be the 
the furthest run we've had on the channel. Obviously, this is split across two videos, but you know, like I said, historically, we've just gone to day 200 and called it good there due to mainly performance issues, but I also don't want to put together a, you know, two, three hour long video, right? Want to be conscious of your time as well. And I don't blame you for seeing a video that is, you know, 90 plus minutes long and shying away from it. I don't blame you one bit. I do the same thing. Corn, yeah, let's get some corn. I feel like we are lagging behind on our uh, popcorn. I'm not going to lie. And we have another melter in place here, actually, so we can probably do something good with this. Let's check it out. So when you think about this build, I want you to also think about... So how do you... So, like, the energy is the key, right? So th that is the unquestioned champion, right? So I think, like, as far as the draws we're going to get, right... It's probably pretty safe to assume that you're going to get a lot of similar cards that, you know, when compared to what we've been getting, we're going to get a lot of the same stuff, right? We're definitely going to. Um, but what are other ways to really boost your energy, right? The antenna is certainly a way to do that. It's going to be of low impact at this point, but it's certainly a way to do that. There's also the electric rabbit. There's the electric chicken. There's all kinds of different ways to boost your energy. So when we think about taking this build even more nuclear than it is now, I don't think you're going to find a stronger solution than the blue sheep. But my goodness, folks. And there's some more thunder. If you enjoy the sound of storms, well, I gotcha. going to be essentially impossible for me to edit that out so I, I do I do apologize folks or you know if you're one that likes the sound of the thunderstorm maybe you've never heard you know or saw a tarot cards video in a thunderstorm right with ambient thunderstorm backdropping right maybe this is a first for you maybe you weren't sure if you like this or not and now you are concluding that, yeah, you know, you kind of like it. Who knows? I recorded a video last night and, you know, there, there was, it was also storming last night, right? We've had a few days of uh, pretty severe storms around here. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I was listening back to the audio, you know, just to, just to produce the video, if you will, and yeah, it's it's definitely there. You can definitely hear it. <laughs> I, I was like, uh, I I hope it, I hope it isn't that bad, right? No, it's it's there. So, I do apologize, folks, if uh, it's obstructive. I don't mean for it to be. Frankly, there's just not much I can do about it. So, medium fence and medium fence, and you know what goes in the fence, folks. The same thing that's been going in the fence all game long, and each one of these sheep are just. So insanely strong in their own respects. I mean, even one that is not on a barn, right? Yeah, it's got some animal buffs, but I mean, just look at this. 24, almost 25,000. I don't even see a pastor nearby. I don't even think it's... It might be buffed up by this pastor here, but... I mean, the blue sheep is a pretty incredible... Electricity solution. It, it just is. Now, what do you do with that energy? That, that is that is the caveat with the blue sheep. The electric wool isn't going to sell great, right? So, black water, black water, black water. I'm going to skip this. I just don't trust it. I just haven't had good luck with the black water, folks. I just don't know what it is. But haven't had good luck with it, so... We're going to, uh, just refrain. Plus, it might not be a great idea for us anyways, given... We're only making a little under 10,000. 
in fuel. Because the focus here today is, of course, not fuel, it is electricity. I feel like Ben Franklin here, folks. All right, a giant sunflower. We choose that over the blue weed. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we? It is the champion. It just is. So let's go on and get over and get it in place here. And see a little before and after. I would imagine we're doing pretty darn strong at 30 million energy production per turn and a bunch of giant sunflowers on a grid. Uh, yeah, $2.8 billion now in vegetable oil. So 2.8 bill. So what is one giant sunflower worth in production? Well, we're going to find out here. 2.8, so 3.2. So it's worth $400 million in production, which is pretty insane for a card that, you know, they kind of just give you like candy in the newest version of the game. So if you want to have some fun with the sheep or maybe you're having trouble unlocking Architects of Utopia 1, 2, or 3, I think a really good way to do it is you want to get the, the sheep, obviously, use the ram if possible. Uh, get a pastor for sure and get a pastor in the fence with your sheep. And then your sheep will begin to multiply. And then to take it to the late game and beyond, right, to make that cash money, the giant sunflower and the blue sheep is an incredible combination, as evidenced here by this video. So I'm going to get this thing to 30 million flat. Well, not flat, but I'm going to get it to 30 million plus energy per turn. And then I think we can probably look at landing this plane. I think you get the picture. I think you get the idea. I think you can understand the strength and feasibility of this build. I mean, it's it's just pretty insane here, folks. It just is. In fact, how are we doing? So electric wool. Yeah, so 2.4 million, right? 3.21 billion dollars, though. It just, it overshadows everything. It's not even close. There's nothing else even remotely close. And you'd think like, okay, so you got the, you got the giant sheep, right? The giant sheep must be doing work if you got a bankroll like that. And that's a fair assumption. It, it truly is. Like, that is a fair assumption to make. But it's just simply not accurate. It is amazingly the giant sunflower. So let's go with the antenna here. Let's throw that down. And we are almost to the magical mark here, folks. I'm going to go with the pastor. Got a nice little thunderclap to kind of close us out maybe a bit here. But let's see the effect that the pastor has if I put him right here. There. 30. So it like just rapidly increases the production of your sheep here. 31. I mean, that's that's good for a million more energy per turn. Which is pretty insane. I mean, it just is. There's no other way to really put it. Right here, this is going to be a really impactful spot, I do feel. Yeah, another 1.5 million or so. So let's get one more draw. Or maybe we can take this to day 400. What do you think? Yeah, let's go to day 400. Why wouldn't I? One question I want you to consider here. So the rent is seven billion dollars now, right? Seven bill. We have ninety billion in the bank, right? How far do you think this run goes? Let me know in the comments. How far? What do you think? I mean, obviously it does depend on what we continue to get, right? It does. Bluey. <laughs> That's helpful. It obviously does continue. You know, it does depend on what we continue to get. 
What cards do we get? Do we get enough fences? And all of that stuff. Ooh, whoops! Looks like whatever I was doing there crashed the game. So I was playing some blue wheat and it crashed the game and here we are back at day 369. Not really sure what uh, what happened. I did get an error code, but yeah, it looks like we lost a little bit of progress, but we are back here, folks. I'm going to take this to day 400. That is the goal here. And the question I was asking before the game, uh, you know, crash on us is how strong do you think this build is? I mean, we are actually really lacking in production right now. I don't know if you saw what we were selling there, but let's see what the next turn holds here. Things get weird. Yeah. Okay. So now we're at 3 billion again, which seems more correct. Look at that. 119 million units of vegetable oil. My goodness. But yeah, my question, uh, how far do you think this build goes? You think it goes to turn 500? I mean, we're at, we're approaching turn 400 without problem. Obviously, the, the rent is going to scale upward, right? But I'm not really too intimidated by that. Not when you have the backing of, you know, $3 billion per turn, which times 10 is, you know, $30 billion per week. I mean, until this number gets up to 30, we're going to be making money, right? I know that it, that it will happen fast, right? But in the perfect world where you keep getting the medium fences, and, and frankly, the game has been generous to us, right? In the perfect world where you continuously get the medium fence, and you're able to continuously play the sheep retinue that you have in your hand, you know, 25 plus, how far do you think this goes? Turn 500? Is that unrealistic? Is that unreasonable? I, I don't know that it is. I don't even need to play the biofield generator. What am I doing? A uh, cutter, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Just give me your uh, your gut feeling. Let me know. Because I feel like we're sitting on at least turn 500 with this build. And all it is is blue sheep. Like, a max amount of blue sheep, of course. But blue sheep at the core. And then, of course, as you well know, the giant sunflower. So let me know. I'd be curious to know your thoughts. I'd like to get to, uh, you know, I'd like to get to the nice even day of 400 here. So we do have black water. Um, I'm going to skip that. I just don't like it. In fact, I might just spend the rest of time here just kind of skipping toward the end. Um, I don't want to, basically, I don't want to crash it again. So let's go with the alpha wolf here. And it looks like we are going to approach the $100 billion mark here, folks. I'm kind of amazing with the build like this. On its surface, it doesn't seem like it'd be so strong, but my goodness, is it strong. I think it's greatly exemplified by, or greatly ampl amplified, excuse me. It's greatly amplified by your ability to get multiple giant sunflowers. If that wasn't the case, right, we would have been dead a long time ago. We would have had one very mighty giant sunflower, or with flush, four of them, max. Actually, you can get six if you get flush and dealer's hand and things go right for you. But that would have been, you know, our, our top end, right? That would have been it. And I think this build uh, dies somewhere, eh, probably somewhere right around here, maybe, where we're at. But how far does this build go? And I can, of course, you know, just keep this file and, uh, you know, maybe we can come back to this someday and see how far this actually does go. I'd be curious to know. But let me know your predictions. And if I get enough predictions, maybe we'll just go ahead and do it. We'll take this one as far as it can possibly go. Let me know in the comments section if you would be interested in seeing that. The YOLO sheep run, the true architect of Utopia, right? The 2000, the 3000 sheep build. How far does it go? How strong is it? 
what is it capable of? There are, of course, ways to optimize here, folks. We're just kind of playing some cards here now. But I keep getting some of the key stuff that I'm seeking, right? How much luxury cloth are we getting? 148 units, really? Okay. That's more than I figured to be getting. Water tank, Easter bunny, antenna, blue wheat, silo. Uh, yeah, blue wheat. We'll be taking that. So let's see. Where's an opportune place to play it? Right here. Actually, that's not going to do anything there. In fact, I got to be careful because last time I was doing this, last time I crashed it, I was playing blue wheat. Okay, just be gentle. Okay, be gentle. Very, very gentle here. All right, we got it done. Let's put a blue wheat right here as well. And how about right here as well? You can build some more fencing around this. Get some more blue sheep. I think 500 easy. Like, I think you can easily get to 500 with this. And that might be a famous last expression here, folks. It just might be. But I just... I just feel it. It's just, it's too strong. It's so strong. And especially since the game continues to give you what you need. And there's a chance for us to still continue to secure giant sunflowers, right? And if you can do that, it's game over. So we are at day 391 here. No need to really play more blue wheat yet. Good thing to have in the hand though, of course. Water cow, water well, water well. Getting a water well at day almost 400. That's pretty crazy. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess we can go with the water well. You bet. Pay a little bit of love to the water well. Play some more blue wheat right here. You bet. You gotta get electrified here, sheep. Let's go. I guess let's play the water well right here. Let's give the giant sheep something to eat. Given I played them in error there. It's all good. 395 is the day. More water wells down, you bet. Another solar panel, you bet. Day 396, uh, crow, carrot, fuel, infuser, a church. Yeah, you want to take the church every time, especially when you have like 8 million sheep. I actually wonder how much income we're making from these church. I think we're getting 50 gold per sheep times however many sheep we have. I, I it, It's hard to quantify. Really hard to quantify. All right, um, let's continue on here. Get that church and let's play it down. In fact, I wonder like, well, I mean, it kind of goes back to what I was already saying. Like, I wonder how much cash we've made by way of the church. Um, but I also wonder if there's a build there. Like, I, I don't think the, the income potential is quite great. Here's another giant sunflower, folks. My goodness. And we have a crusher here, so we can set up a third zone. $148 billion, 16 coming out. I mean, let me know. Like I've been saying kind of all game long, do let me know how strong you think this build gets. How far would we be able to take it? Let me know. I want to hear your opinions. I want to hear kind of how you see this, right? Because I'm thinking at least day 500. At least.
Because there's another what? What do you get from just one giant sunflower? What did we land on? Something like 400 million, right? 400 million dollars. But as you can see, rent does get quite expensive here. And it is day 401 here, and I think that is a fitting spot to end, at least for now. Like I said, I think this particular build is a fun one. It's it's one that I would certainly consider picking back up and going another, you know, 100, 150 days here. You know, making a third video on it. Absolutely. But I want your feedback. Do you think I should do that? Is that something that you would be interested in seeing? Um, furthermore, the question I've asked probably eight times, how far do you think this build goes? Should we test it out, right? These are all things to, of course, consider here, folks. So ultimately, let's back on out of here. Let's save the Supremacy Farm at day 401 now. It's a nice looking uh, save file there for sure. But let's look at the achievement. So Architects of Utopia level 3. The effect is plus 5 production to sheep. So that is pretty darn mighty. I mean, really mighty. It makes the early game sheep really effective. In fact, you can probably get a build afloat in the early game with this, right? Because usually it takes a little bit of a little bit of time before the sheep can actually prop you up and give you a suitable build. Well, this actually might get you there. Definitely interesting things to try out for sure. So that is Architect of Utopia level 3. We did it. We met the goal. I mean, obviously we had some help, but you know, ultimately I'm the one that built the farm, right? And we built a winner and we extended that winner to get yet another achievement. So in closing here, folks, the two questions, obviously, how far do you think that build goes? How many days? 600, 700, 500? So how far does it go? And then secondly, do you want to see me, you know, in a future episode here, do you want to see me try to take this another 100, 150, 200 days? Should we take it as far as it can possibly go? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Let me know. And lastly here, folks, before I get on out of here, I just want to thank you so much for your viewership. This community has been awesome. I see your comments. You folks are awesome. I love the enthusiasm that you have. I love your thoughts and opinions of, of this game. I like when you call me out when, you know, I could have done something a little more efficient. I like when you, uh, you know, tell me that you're enjoying the content. I like when you give me constructive uh, feedback to help this channel improve, right? So I'm a content creator that will not shy away from feedback. So if you have some feedback for me, do let me know. Otherwise, I truly hope that you enjoyed the video. Sorry about the thunderstorm in the background, folks. Not much I can do about that, but I didn't want that to prevent me from recording another Terra Cards run for this fine community. So with that said, I'm going to get on out of here. You know, expect another Terra Cards video, right? I'm trying to do one every three to four to five days. So three to five days. Every three to five days, you can expect a new Terra Cards run right here on the channel. If you are not subscribed and you like the game Terra Cards, well, this is a great channel for you. I've got you. <laughs> I've got you. This is a game that we feature here on this channel. So if that sounds good to you and you're not subscribed, consider becoming a subscriber. If you think I'm doing a good job here with the production quality, please also give me a like. So with that said, folks, I'm heading on out of here. Once again, thank you so much. We'll be catching you in the next video. Thank you. Yeah,